Faculty of the Fellowship and New York State since uh, 1981. I joined the Faculty of Business School <coughs> and teaching uh, in the MBA program. Uh, the theme and context reminds me when I came from India, I had a fellow student at Boston University where I got my PhD. I gave up the advice immediately. He says, talk fast, because that way you can address the professor. So you can go back home to the school. So of course, thank you for giving us three minutes and, and making the pitch. Uh, anyway, um, as you know, uh, and all of us can appreciate it particularly, uh, that the most important resource in this world to make the world better for the world to uh, make any progress uh, is the resource of knowledge, technology, education, whatever word you want to use. And it turns out that the area I come from, uh, there was no college in about 20 mile radius, uh, never mind the college for, uh, for women. Uh, in India today, uh, even now, uh, roughly one third of the population uh, is illiterate. Only 3% of the population in India has college education. Only 1% of women have college education. So when I uh, have been a professor here and, and realizing what education has done in this world and how education of all the other factors, in my view, has put the United States on the very tippy top. And it is exactly the lack of that which puts the, the Southern African continent at the very bottom and all the other countries need to line up two columns in this world of education and economic growth that is not only perfect for a nation, but in my view, and in my quantitative research, which is in the consideration of publication, uh, it is a cause and effect relationship. So in my view, education is the best social investment one can make. Uh, and indeed, uh, that's what I decided to do. And uh, I and a few other people opened a women's college uh, in the uh, hometown that I, uh, I come from um, in 1999. We started with 35, uh, so the need is obvious. In other words, there was no college uh, in the area, and that's the very first point. And the access is very, very limited, even as, uh, as I said, one third of the population is very, very limited uh, in India. So there's no doubt about the need for it. Um, our goal is, uh, indeed, uh, as high as you could get. Uh, to produce uh, leaders, leaders who can serve the world, who can serve India, who can serve uh, the local community, and so on. Uh, and uh, I established the college uh, with my wife and a few other friends. Um, we, um, the, uh, the college started with 35 students. Today we have roughly 260 students in the sixth year of operation. And it's all women's college. And the reason for women's college is that if we had started a, a co-education college, most of the girls would not have gone to that college. Because the culture is still that you keep the boys separate from girls, it's uh, what the thing was in your days. We have invested 1.2 million. Uh, the annual cost of a student is about 600 operating costs, not the whole class. So whatever one can invest, whether it's for one scholarship or $5 million to turn it into a university, we would appreciate your help. Thank you very much.